around, so that's the way it is when you hunt mushrooms. Got to be persistent and just enjoy the walk. Not like this is, uh, I would consider this hard work. We want to do a quick all right, no sooner do I say that, and Bob gets a bingo. Right here. Now this is a classic presentation of a chanterelle. This is classic. Look at the gold color. There's nothing that looks like this. Nothing else out there that looks like this. There's no poisonous mushroom that even resembles this. That is a classic. Chanterelle. Striations underneath. No defined cap. The cap is missing. I forgot the mycological term for that. But that is a beautiful specimen and a very, very fortuitous indicator of what is about to come. We found our first little goldie of the day. And you brush them off, as Bob is doing. That way you're cleaning is much easier later. And then we wrap them in newspaper to keep them from getting transferring their dirt, transferring to, their each dirt to each other. And they also, when they rub against one another, they go squishy really quickly. They start to go soft. So you want to keep them nice and firm and neat. And that's the process right there. As I said, where there's one, there is always more. As you will see shortly, things can quickly add up. Now, a restaurant, right there, a restaurant would probably charge a customer oh, 30 or $40 for a dish prepared with that amount of chanterelle mushrooms that I just picked in about 8 to 10 seconds. So, you're picking money up off the floor of the forest and they're wonderful to eat. lump in the uh, in the loam oh yeah classic lump trumpets oh gorgeous all right you see we have a pop we were right this is how it works this right is here i'm not going to leave this we're, we're, another one under yeah, that lump we're, look under that lump right we're here. going to uh yeah. we're going to stick around here for a while folks and we're going to fill our sacks up because uh we got a mushroom as a coming up uh What every mushroom hunter loves to see. A pile of buttes like that, five minutes after they go out into the field. We are going to give this area a thorough going over. As we've already gotten a couple of pounds, and it goes very well for the real killer spots up ahead. Just imagine, sometimes you can pick a hundred pounds in a day. It's like walking around getting paid to pick up money. This is another type of environment that you can find spectacular amounts of chanterelles in, but in this type of environment, they tend to be low and under the leaf matter. This is, this is a bay, bay laurel, and we have 
found vast amounts of chanterelles in this habitat. In fact, I can remember one day pulling out about 20 pounds here, right from this little rise here. Up to a good 20 pounds in five minutes. They may be a little early, but they're popping. Half a pound or a pound in my bag to prove that. Bob's got a bingo. These are biggies. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Yeah. Right. Wow. This is a really gorgeous specimen over here. One on the ground that he has yet to pull out. As I said, I have pulled 20 pounds out of this particular little hill in five minutes. Let's be able to spot their bumps. Up, oh, here's one. And where there is one, there is usually two. And sometimes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and the whole thing. This is classic chanterelle hunting right here. This is as classic as it gets. This is how it's done. Bring your beer, bring some wine, whatever else you feel like, and make a day out of it. Okay, we probably pulled out about five pounds or more between the two of us, maybe six pounds between the two of us, in about five minutes from this little tiny hill here. So that is a really, really excellent uh, way to start the day. Just comb this area thoroughly, because there are more here. And then we'll move on to the real spots, the really intense good spots. And they do grow in, gra in uh, grassy areas like this as well. They grow on the margin. They will also, some of their favorite spots are in wood piles, underneath wood piles, like this monstrous ones in places like this. So you just gotta look around. Bob gets the first drink because he got the first mushroom. So yeah we got close to five pounds I'd say. I got I got I got more in that, in that bag than you think. So this is how we pick mushrooms. Sometimes we eat mushrooms and pick mushrooms too. And uh, that can get really crazy. 